Yeah, oh, my, I got, let me have a chair. I got a bag Uh, thank you for the opportunity to speak. My name is Larry Rogers, R-O-D-G-E-R-S. Uh, I'm here tonight. Uh, I'm a member of the uh, Spectre Busters Incorporated. Uh, we're obviously very much in disfavor of this project. Uh, otherwise, I'm here to represent myself. Uh, I have a small tract of land to which you will be going through about a mile and a half of, of my property. Um, now, I've got several questions. Uh, the first one, uh, who would be liable? I just lost a contract on the sale of part of my property because of this gas line. Who do I look to for that liability? Is it uh, Sable Trail or John Doe or Santa Claus or who is it? I mean, who, who, do I look, who do I go to to recover my loss for this sale? Do you have an answer, or can anyone answer that? And I, is there any way to get this, these, these answers in writing? That's not working. That's not been working. No. Um, mostly for, for something that's like a, the companies carry liability insurance for, for operating their pipelines, so mm -hmm. if there were to be some sort of incident that would require um, any sort of um, insurance, the companies have their own insurance for, for operating their pipelines. So there's no, no Santa so which, Claus. What's the name of the company? I, I, there are four or five different. Uh, um, for, Kevin, that's not really addressing his question. He's talking about he lost a sale on your property, so okay. it's before pipeline even was built. And I guess I want to say, for, in terms of when you give us your comments, we're going to do the best job we can to answer your questions. Okay. I'm not going to have all the answers tonight. Okay. So that's something I don't who, have who, an answer. Who can answer that for? Well, I can try to find the answer for you. I just okay. don't have it for you right now. That's, so that's good. I okay. accept that. And I appreciate that. And so again, when everybody comes up and gives comments, if you do have questions, I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. But right. I might not have them all. I understand. All right. Thanks. Sir. Well, along with that, uh, I'd like to know who is ultimately responsible for value damage to my property. Value damage because there definitely will be value damage. So I guess it would be the same answer. That's, a, that's another question. Uh, next question. Uh, who determines how people are paid for their property? Why, why is it uh, set in stone that you pay one price for, effort, for the value of the property they use uh, when they're going to be making profits on it forever. Uh, why, don't, why don't they uh, share the profits with the landowner? Yeah. Um, the landowner has, has to continue to pay the property taxes. So I don't understand why they can't, uh, you know, can't share the profits. Uh, the next, I think the last question I've got. I've got good news for y'all tonight for you people making this decision. Number one, I want to make it clear that I'm not for this pipeline, period. The good news is, is in Lowndes County, the largest landowner in this county, I understand, is in favor of this project. I consider it forestry property would be a much better use for this pipeline rather than somebody's backyard or next to a school. Or through somebody's uh, cattle pasture. The Langdale Company, you can, you can take their route through this county and leave everybody else alone, and you won't hurt anything but a pine tree. Absolutely. If you don't consider that, then y'all are not really concerned about the environment. And that's, that's, that's <laughs>